what you heard from me this morning, specifically on the customer acquisition and management and utility integration side. Um, but I'd just love to give you a little bit more background, a little bit more detail than what I described this morning on what that looks like at Solstice. Uh, so I mentioned earlier this morning that we uh, work with developers so that they can do what they do best in terms of financing, building, maintaining solar project of solar projects. And uh, so for for them to provide new solar, we understand that a lot of developers aren't necessarily interested in uh, building the customer acquisition uh, staff platforms, all of that uh, in-house necessarily. So that's where we come in to provide those services. Uh, so I mentioned the, the community aspect being really important to us. So when we are providing customer acquisition services to solar developers, we are going out into communities with boots on the ground. We have a very flexible staffing model that allows us to staff up for meeting with community organizations and customers face to face. Um, we think it's really important to have that personal relationship to be able to explain the community solar model, uh, to be able to communicate the value and what the experience is like um, from the very outset. So we take, from a customer acquisition perspective, we take a very human-centered approach in finding uh, customers to, to bring and subscribe to an array. Uh, in New York, the uh, at least in terms of the last I saw it in the Con Ed uh, CDG application process, the, the array needs to be, uh, they need to have the names of people participating and the account information of people participating in the array at least 60 days in advance of when the development is switched on. So that means that we need to do our jobs well ahead of the array being online and producing power to have those names and that account information in the hands of the utility and therefore be able to integrate the accounts, right? That, that 60 days is really crucial for us to be able to align our systems uh, with uh, the utility account information. We heard from others that it's a, it's a complex process. Uh, so that's just a consideration to keep in mind if you're considering uh, community solar and what that process would look like. Uh, finding those customers early on is really important to go to the utility. Not only do you need it for your, your financiers, uh, but also for integrating the systems uh, for customers to participate. Uh, and we really can manage the whole customer-facing aspect of acquiring uh, customers, managing their accounts, and also have uh, a software system that can integrate with developer APIs to get that information about what the array is producing. Uh, and also we, we integrate with utility systems so that we can sync up all of that account information. Uh, customers can pay their bills online. Uh, and we, we also have a, uh, a process by which all of the acquisition of boots on the ground that we're doing to find people then also translates digitally to getting their basic information uh, asking them for a, a copy of the utility bill that can be uploaded to our system so that we can do that extra piece of just making sure that they're in the right load zone and uh, to also make sure that they're, they're eligible and can size their share appropriately given their, uh, their utility bill usage and their historic use. Um, I mentioned that uh, we have the system that the customers can use to manage their accounts online, they can get their bills there. And we're currently also building out a, uh, a nice app. We saw some fancy examples that are really beautiful and give us great inspiration for what we want our app to be. Um, and the piece that we're also building onto that is uh, a, a way by which folks can share their um, solar participation through social media. As I mentioned earlier, that, uh, that that community aspect is really important to spreading it. So we want people to be able to tell their story very easily to the folks in their network using social media to say, hey, I just looked at my, my solar share this month and it's saving, this, saving me this much money and I have offset uh, this much carbon production. So that social media integration is an additional feature that we're uh, building out for the, the next iteration of our platform so that we can continue to uh, spread more interest uh, in communities for solar. 